Hello, beautiful souls. Today I wanted to share something that just kind of came up out of the blue. Um, it's something from my book, The Spiritual Seeker's Guide to Happiness, which you can find on my website. I have the, the link below. And a woman that I've never met who just has become a dear friend through her emailing me back and forth, who has this book. She's had it for years. And every now and then she will write me to tell me how much the book is still filling her. And the book is 350 pages of what I call essays. So it's very easy to read. The essays are three or four pages long. It's very easy just to open it and read one. And so she emailed me this morning and shared the message that um, she had read. And it, it was a really good reminder for me. And so I decided to just randomly get the book and open it in a place just asking for a message for me today. And I really want to share with you what, what I landed on because it's always so amazing. This book was written in 2012 and what is written here is so appropriate for today. And it just shows that these beings of light who are coming through me and bringing through these messages really do have a very broad perspective and what comes through is not just of service in the moment. So I'm not going to share the whole essay with you. It's, um, it's a little over four pages. It's essay 41. It's called The Love of Life. But I'm just going to share the part that landed for me when I opened the book and um, realized how appropriate it is for where we are now. It's another invitation to go inside. So here is what they say. So many of you are now crying out for change. It is obvious to many of you that the current systems that you live in are no longer working for you, the people. This is appropriate. It is time for change. And yet, change begins within the self. It begins with the appreciation of what is good in your life and expanding that. It begins with simplifying your life and exploring what is truly of value to you in this world. If you were stranded on an island for two years, what would be more valuable? Two good friends or five stores full of anything you wanted to buy? When you isolate yourself from the world and explore your life in this way, you will have a greater understanding of what is truly of value in life. Commercial investments are just distractions. They are a way of avoiding what is truly required for a full life, and that is to look inside. You distract yourselves away from yourselves, and now with your telephones to your ears, you are doing this more and more. You have all seen groups of friends all sitting side by side, looking at a little box in their hand instead of looking into each other's eyes and seeing the beauty there. They are lost in the technology that pulls them away from reality. And so our question would be, why do they want to step out of the reality that would be making human connections? Has it become too painful? Are you forgetting how to connect to one another? Answer these questions for yourselves. Parents, do you take the time to look into the eyes of your children and truly see them? Slow down. Let the fullness of life seep into your pores. As time speeds up, it is even more important to consciously slow down. Leave Sunday free for family time. Cook a slowly prepared meal. Smell the food roasting in the oven as you prepare to sit together and enjoy each other's company. Find your way back to the treasures of life. Here is a question we would like you to explore. Why do you think that you wanted to incarnate on earth? What was your purpose in being here? Do you think there was some purpose? Do you think it was to get lost in the complexity of living, simply striving to survive? Perhaps it was something more than that, dear ones. 
Perhaps it was to discover the fullness of your soul and all the gifts that you have to offer the world. Perhaps it was to learn who you are by supporting your fellow humans and discovering the love of self through loving others. There is so much to enjoy about the human experience. It is our intention that these questions and our guidance will lead you back to the fullness of existence and out of the mundane. Find the stillness that comes from quieting the mind or being in a natural environment. There is stillness in nature. That same nature is your mind, is in your mind, if you will sit long enough to explore it. Take the time to sit and simply breathe. Count your breath seven times and see if you do not feel just a little calmer. It is not complicated, dear ones, and so we ask you not to make it so. The desire to make it complicated is just the ego wanting to give importance to itself. The way back to your true self is found through simplicity. We would say that the more you simplify your life, the more you will find joy creeping back into your existence. Find people who are truly happy and see how they live. And so we leave you now with this thought for today. What is the one thing you could do this day to simplify your life? And then, if you remove some activity from your life, be aware of using that time for stillness. It is okay to sit and do nothing. Remember the day when people would sit on their doorstep and simply be? That being was doing. It was the kind of doing that allows calmness and stillness. Find it, dear ones. Allow it. Do not convince yourselves with your busyness that there is importance there. It is the stillness that is important because the stillness allows you to discover who you truly are. This is not what outward appearances would make it appear that you are, but what your heart says you are. Therein lies the truth, in the heart. That is where the fullness of living is birthed. Connect there, beloveds, and find the beauty that is you. We love you so, and so it is. And these essays are from the Council of Nine. And I remember as a child, and of course this message was for me today, that's why it happened and I pulled it open. I've been busy in my mind and not really connecting in the stillness and I, I feel it happening within me. There's a sadness from not allowing myself to just be in the stillness, so I really needed this message today. And I remember as a young child, we lived with my grandparents for a while and they had a house with a veranda that went around two sides of the house and I remember them with, with me as a child and my sister sitting on the veranda and they had one of those swings that hangs from chains and we would just rock on the swing and in the evening we would sit on the veranda and there would be bats flying by and there was an owl that lived um, in a tree nearby and we would hear the owl and we were just sitting and seemingly doing nothing. But what we were doing is really being present in life, being present with the natural world around us, bringing it into our life experience and us into it. And having sacred time together where there doesn't need to be a party, there doesn't need to be conversation all the time. We were just there together, being present, just being here. and. That's something that is very much lost in our society today. And for many, I know it seems like the worst thing ever to think about just having to be still. I remember a few years ago, someone suggested to me going for a picnic and I thought, are you crazy? Go for a picnic? Why would I just want to go for a picnic? But now I'm seeing the beauty of that to just sit outside and be a part of it the natural world that we're living in and and more connected to just being and in the moment. So that's the invitation from the Council of Nine in this book today. And um, I invite you to 
Check out my love notes that I'm offering for free right now um, on from my website when you sign up to my list. And also, I'm this coming Tuesday, which is a couple of days away, going to be offering my Pathways to Ascension class again. I've had to stop it for a while because my internet connection has been poor with this uh, COVID-19 and more people at home. So I'm offering that again on Tuesday. So just to put that out there, if you're someone who's interested in that, check out my website and have an explore. And thank you so much for being present. So much love.